by the end of this video you are going to learn how to integrate quadratic and polynomial functions let's integrate this function to solve this problem the first step is to expand this bracket this and this are both the same next by using distributive rule we are going to expand this bracket next 2x multiplied by 2x and we have 4x squared next 2x we now multiply 1 and you have 2x next 1 will now multiply 2x and you have 2x next 1 multiply 1 and we're going to have 1 next 2x plus 2x next we're going to integrate this using the integral power rule we are integrating this quadratic function instead of the given question next this quadratic function is the same as this next when we integrate this according to the power rule we're going to have this next we're going to integrate 4x and our answer is this according to the power rule next let's integrate x to the power of 0 recall that anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1 the integration of x to the power of 0 is this when we are done we are going to include plus c next we are going to simplify our result next 2 here is 1 and 2 here is 2 and this is our answer from the options our answer is a next let's consider this question the integral of this function has a value of minus 2 at x is equal to 1 to solve this problem step number one we are going to integrate this function with respect to x next we are going to apply the integral power rule next when we integrate this we are going to have this and when we integrate 4 we are going to get 4x remember integrating just 4 is the same thing as 4 multiply x to the power of 0 because x to the power of 0 is equal to 1 next we are now going to include our constant plus c next 3 we cancel out 3 next at x is equal to 1 the integral of this function will be equal to minus 2 hence wherever i see x i will now input 1 and at this condition the entire integral will be equal to minus 2 which is the given condition next 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 1 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 next 
we are going to make c the subject five we move over to the other side to become minus five and our c is equal to minus seven which is minus two minus five we are going to substitute for the value of c which is minus seven into this which supposed to be our final result and our final result is x to the power of 3 plus 4x minus 7 and our answer is e next let's integrate this function step number one we are going to integrate this function with respect to x next x to the power of 3 is 7 1 likewise x to the power of 3 is 7 x to the power of 3 next x to the power of 3 we take away x to the power of 3 next the x to the power of 3 at the denominator we're going to apply the law of indices hence we're going to be integrating this remember that one is the same thing as x to the power of zero next we're going to apply the integral power rule when you solve correctly, this is our answer. Next, according to law of indices, this x, when it comes down, is going to lose its negative at the powers. Next, because of the presence of this negative, we can move this behind x and this becomes our result from the options our answer is a next let's integrate this function next if you apply the integral power rule you are going to have this plus c this is our answer from the options our answer is B next let's integrate this function before we integrate we are going to rewrite this function to become this remember the square root of 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1 over 2 and the square root of 4 is 2. Hence, we are going to be integrating this and not this. Though both are the same, but it's easier to add 1 to the power of 1 over 2. Next, let's integrate by applying the integral power rule. Next, we are going to add 1 to this power and we are going to return everything to the denominator and don't forget your constant solving carefully this is our final result remember we need to change this division to multiplication sign and when you do that is going to flip 2 to the numerator and 3 to the denominator and from the options our answer is c next let's integrate this function before we integrate this we're going to rearrange the function x to the power of 3 will remain However, 
this square root is the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of 1 over 2. We are going to integrate this instead of this. Applying the power rule and solving correctly. This is our answer. From the options, our answer is A. Next, we are going to integrate this function. Before we integrate, let's rearrange this function. Let's consider this first square root. Next, we are going to consider the cube root. Square root is 1 over 2 powers, while cube root is 1 over 3 powers. Next, this is like 5 over 1. Hence, 1 will multiply 5, and you're going to get 5. And these 2 will multiply this 1, and you're going to get 2. Next, 5 times 1 is 5, and 2 times 3 is 6. Instead of this, we're going to be working with this. Next, we're going to apply the integral power rule by adding 1 to the power of x and bringing the result down to the denominator by applying the power rule when you add one to the power and bring everything down you're going to get 11 over 6 and 11 over 6 by changing the division sign to multiplication sign 11 over 6 will become 6 over 11 and this becomes our result. Check out other suggested integration videos. This is Calculus. In the next video, we are going to consider the integration of natural logarithm and the integration of exponential functions. To locate and access all the videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.